In this video, we'll cover two-step authentication. Some state regulations are requiring users to authenticate to systems using two steps. In this case, first I'll authenticate to the Windows operating system with my username and password. 2FA1 will then require the user to present an enrolled authentication method in 2FA1. In this case, I'm enrolled with an RFID card. So I first must present my card to the reader and then enter my assigned PIN. Following which, I'll be granted access to the operating system on which I can go ahead and access applications. Some applications may require me to provide an additional username and password before being provided access to data. In the next scenario, we'll show how a user can log on using two-step authentication utilizing 2FA1's shared workstation capability. In this scenario, again, the user would log on with their assigned username and password. 2FA1 shared workstation will then require the user to present their card and enter their PIN prior to be given access to the operating system, following which the user can open up an application to which they may be required to provide an additional username and password prior to be given access to data. In the final scenario, the user will be required to provide two-step authentication at the application level. First, the user will open up the application. 2FA1 will recognize that authentication is required for the application. The user will present their card, enter their assigned PIN, then enter their assigned username and password information for the specified application.